G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com, and today I'm here in Photoshop Elements 13 to show you a brand new feature exclusive to Photoshop Elements called the Refine Selection. We're going to play around with this photo of my little boy Edward on his first big boy break. So I'm going to show you how to use the Refine Selection tool. The first thing we're going to do is use a quick select, which is this icon here under the selection section of your toolbox. And I'm going to just do a quick rough selection of Edward riding his bike here. Get it all in there. And now that I've got the basics done, I'm going to use the refine selection tool. to, well, refine the selection. So let's zoom in a little bit here. So we want to extract Edward from this photo and the first thing we want to do is make sure we don't have any of the background selected. So I'm going to leave it in the default push mode. I just drag my brush and what this refine selection brush is doing is it's actually looking for the edges in my image and if I push from the outside it pushes my selection inwards until it sees a selection um, until it sees an edge so here we go let's get rid of this brick here it's looking within the light grey area to find the edge There we go, and you can see it. I have to adjust the brush size to get a really good selection here. So I'll hold down Alt to make a hole in my selection here. I don't want any of these bricks included in the selection. Hold down Shift to add this black cable to the selection. And then I'll just run my brush along to remove the bricks. Now, as you can see, I'm just continuing along, pushing the selection. Now, another way to add or remove larger sections, like this brick area. I'm going to click on the subtract selection and just going to increase the brush size and remove these bricks from the selection. Now depending on whether you're using a Wacom tablet or a mouse you might find that it works a little bit differently. Mine's got some touch sensitivity so the harder I touch, the more area it uh, works on. So I'm going to go back to the push mode to finish off my extraction. And this is really easy. Usually you're having to alt and shift click all the time to add and remove parts to your selection. But with the push mode, if you're on the outside, it automatically knows to remove the selection. And if you're on the inside, it automatically knows to add to your selection. So you need to drag from the area that you want for it to work correctly. I'm going to show you a little bit in a little bit more detail how the push works. I've got this shoe here and the black area of the shoe isn't selected so I'm going to push over so that the black area is selected. Same with here. And this time I'm going to push the selection so that the bricks not selected. So I think it's just about the moment of truth. Let's have a look 
at how well our selection has worked. So let's create a new layer from this selection by going layer new layer via copy and now we'll turn off the background layer and to check how our selection works I'm going to add a new layer put it behind the selection of Edward on the bike here and I'm going to fill it with some color there. Now you can see we've got quite a good selection around the head is a little bit jerky so this is where we need to use the smooth option for the refine selection tool so I'm just going to press control and then the th click on the thumbnail of this picture so that we reselect the selection turn off layer 2 click on the background layer and we'll zoom in a bit and do a little bit of smoothing on our selection. Click on the smooth button and then we'll just go around to smooth our selection a little bit. Do a little bit more pushing of our selection before we finally smooth it off. As you can see as usual, um, working with a detailed selection is a little bit complex, but we should get a pretty good result at the end of all this. And we'll go to smooth now and we'll smooth the edges of his hair here. And now Control J and we'll drag it up above our blue layer and there we go we have a little bit more of a head shaped head here of course I could go in and do a little bit more refining but I think you get the idea refine selection is a quick and easy way to work with more detailed selections easily pushing and pulling the selected areas around until you get a really good result Enjoy the new refined selection tool in Photoshop Elements 13.